List them up, make some money, make it now. Cash, 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 cash. So a couple of weeks ago, as part of the Clean With Me video, I did a much needed closet clean out. I love doing shopping challenges for this channel, but that does leave me with a little bit more clothes than I actually need. As I was sorting through my clothes, I realized that some of the pieces I wanted to let go of were still in really good condition. I did some research on selling clothes through secondhand shopping sites, and I honestly think I can kill two birds with one stone. One, I get to clean out my closet, and two, I can make some money. To be honest, I have no idea if this is going to be successful or not. But regardless, this is a really great, eco-friendly and cost-effective way to clean out my closet. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of research on Poshmark itself and see what kind of prices they have, what the clothing looks like, and then Parade actually has an article that you should check out for tips on how to sell your stuff on Poshmark. She's made $65,000 just on Poshmark selling like thrift store clothes. So her top tips are start small, just start with like one thing from your closet that you don't really wear anymore. Work hard, don't stress over photos. She takes all her photos on the iPhone. Okay, so maybe I'll, I'll do that. I can take all my photos on the iPhone. Okay, and then I'm gonna go Poshmark itself and see what we got. So, I mean, there's a good bit of everything on here, for sure. Different types of brands, um, everything from, you know, your mall brands to like your more expensive like Louis Vuitton brands. Okay, I think I'm ready to post some listings. So the other week I did my closet clean out. Um, I put everything that I'm gonna sell on this rack um, and I kind of will go through everything. So I got this jacket for the Selena Gomez video I did a couple months ago and it's actually really warm and really cute. It's just, I'm only selling it because I really never wear it. It's very specific. Um, I have a sweater I got from Goodwill. Um, it still had the tag on it. I wish I hadn't taken it off, but it's a Stitch Fix one. I've got an anthropology um, throw that's really, it's in a really nice color. It's cute. I've just had it for a while and you know, don't wear it too much, so. And then we got another Forever 21 dress that I just got for the Springs Trend video. So um, even though it is Forever 21, I feel like this will sell really fast because it is really popular right now, like this, this trend, the mesh see-through uh, long dress. And then I have some jeans I'm gonna sell, some white jeans, uh, blue, black. And then I also have the shorts from the Billie Eilish video I did because I don't think I'm gonna be wearing these. So um, pass them on, sell them, give them away, whatever I need to do. All right, I'm feeling good. I have everything ready to go. Now I'm going to take some pictures of said item. Y'all, I almost forgot I have two pairs of Crocs that I'm going to sell as well. The black work flats and these beautiful bad boys. Okay, so just finished my side. So I have everything listed now um, up on my Poshmark and cross my fingers that I get some offers on some of these clothes and we will see. I'm really, really curious to see how this works because I've never done anything like this and it's a new experience, so I'm enjoying the ride. Okay, um, oh my gosh, I'm not kidding. I literally just put my phone down from doing that clip before saying I was like, oh, done, and I have literally just now got an offer on the rainbow Crocs. I listed them for 30 and they put in an offer for 20. So we got our first offer. This is uh, like really, really exciting actually. So my stuff has been up on Poshmark for a couple weeks now and I have honestly had some trouble selling. So I'm gonna contact Haley and see if I can get some tips to boost up those sales. Haley, thank you so, so much for joining me today and talking to me. So I um, actually 
read the article from parade.com that you were featured in and read all about like your tips and everything. So I started my own Poshmark closet and I tried to sell some things. I sold two things, some shoes and a pair of jeans, but I haven't really had any like traction on anything else. So I would love to just kind of pick your brain and see like how you got started. If you have any tips or yeah. anything. like. So I got started when I was in college, just, you know, getting rid of some of the things I wasn't wearing anymore, trying to get a more professional wardrobe. So I've been doing this full time selling on Poshmark for like a year and a half. There's definitely, you know, tons of opportunities on Poshmark for cleaning out your closet or, you know, making some of your money back on a dress that you never ended up wearing. How did you kind of like grow your community? Yeah, so I grew a lot of it from Instagram, um, you know, building a following there. I love posting. I love like engaging with people, connecting with people. And so I, you know, spent a lot of time growing my Instagram and then directing them to my Poshmark closet. Uh, what about photos? Like, what do you, do you have any tips on like taking good photos or what not to do? Yeah, I just take them all in my bedroom. I have a white wall just a hanger. I don't think you need to go out and like buy a mannequin or like a white rug or a ring light, whatever. You know, I just take them all on my iPhone. So I think just having, you know, good quality photos, multiple photos, you don't just want, you know, one picture of the shirt. So, you know, taking a picture of the front, of the back, you can provide measurements if that's helpful for a buyer. Um, pricing things really well, you know, you want to have them be competitive to, you know, someone might have the same dress as you. And so you want to give a good deal. You want to allow for people to make offers. Um, a lot of times, I mean, I think some people forget that like it is secondhand. <laughs> and so they're trying to get full price for it, which like it's going to be sitting there for a long time. So, you know, listing it maybe like half off retail or um, I think that that's a great place to start, just like half off, you know, what you paid for it because it is used, like it has been sitting in your closet for a while. Oh, well, this is so good. Thank you so much. Of course. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks since I listed all of my things, took pictures. So I went back in, I kind of listed things a little differently with the descriptions and I changed some of the prices. So um, hopefully I'll be getting a lot more hits and I already just got a comment um, on one of the sweaters that says, this is so cute. So I'm gonna offer this girl 10% off. That was another tip that she said is to kind of incentivize people to buy. Okay, so I just sent that comment and now I'm going to wait and hopefully, hopefully she takes that 10% offer and we'll make a good sale on this sweater and get those sweaters out of here. Okay, I am so excited because the girl who commented on the sweater, she just purchased it. So that 10% really did help make that sale and follow me. I'm so excited, how cool. So now I just gotta package this baby up and send it on out. Okay, phew, I was not the most successful seller on Poshmark, but Haley's tips definitely helped. I think posting multiple photos and making sure your pricing is competitive are two really, really important things. As for Haley, I feel like your success grows as your audience grows. So just stick with it. This was a really fun way for me to clean out my closet and I definitely think I'll do it again. Have you had any luck selling your clothes online? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to click and subscribe and I will see you next time on Try the Trend.